Welcome everyone to Get Bricked. Today we're checking out the Harry Potter Hedwig set from Lego. Now this is set 75979 and includes 630 pieces. This set was actually one that my girlfriend actually wanted us to pick up from the Bricks in the Six event that we did. And this one was featured in a video a little while back, but we did finally get to building this one and I'm very happy that we picked this one up.
Now, the first thing you'll notice on this set, I did choose to go ahead and apply the stickers to this set because luckily there were only four stickers included in total, which are mainly featured on the envelope and on the nameplate. Now, included in this set, we do get a Harry Potter minifigure as well as a smaller version of Hedwig for the figures as well. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the minifigure first since we did only get the one in this set. And of course, the minifigure is Harry Potter. Now, this one looks really good, done up mostly in the black with a little bit of red and yellow for the scarf and the emblem there on the chest. And then we do get the scarf along the back as well. And then a little bit of gray line work just for the cloak that he's supposed to be wearing. Now, as for the legs for the character though, they are the more childlike legs where they're not poseable. So it does lose a little bit of playability there, but it does make it look like more of a younger character. Maybe it's supposed to emulate his look from one of the first films. Now it looks like he is wearing some blue gloves, which is an interesting choice. Maybe that is from one of the films or something that was described in the books, but I'm surprised those aren't done up in the golden red as well. Now, moving up to the head, he does feature the short black messy kind of style hair, but it looks like they have it designed with a gap. So you can actually see the lightning bolt scar on his forehead and the lightning bolt does look pretty good up close. Now, as for the print for the face though, there is two prints for this one. Now, of course the first face is more of a happy smiling kind of face. And then on the back, he's got a bit more of a scared and frightened kind of face. And as for his accessory, he does of course include his magic wand, which is actually done up in the brown. Uh, but it's interesting because I thought he was always supposed to have a black wand. Maybe that's something that someone can maybe correct me on if I'm wrong, but I do like that he at least includes a wand and we actually did get a second one as a spare one. So that's nice that we actually got a replacement one just in case you happen to lose it because it is a smaller piece. Now included in this set, of course, they did include a smaller version of Hedwig, which is not a poseable figure, but it is a good looking figure with the wings outstretched and it does match the look of the larger one. Especially I like the look of the printing for the face and for the feathers on the chest. It's a nice look to it, and I'm happy we actually got something to accompany and sit with the Harry Potter. Now that brings us to the main build for this set, which of course is the larger version of Hedwig and the stand that it comes on. Now overall, I love the look of the base itself, done up largely in the darker brown, as well as a bit of gold, and we see a little bit of gray kind of peeking through a little bit there at the top. But overall, I like the way that the bottom of the base came together, where it has the four corners that are kind of popped out a little bit, give it a bit of a different look. And then I love that we've got the translucent pieces done up in the red and gold along the edges of the base. Now at the front of that base, of course, we do have the plaque for Hedwig with the name printed there. And I like the font that they chose to go with. It's definitely got that Harry Potter vibe to it. And I like the look of it overall. Again, I would have just loved to see that as a printed piece just to raise the quality of it a little bit more. Now moving up the front of the base towards the top, we of course have the Hogwarts letter that Hedwig is carrying. And this one features the last three stickers from this set. We've of course got the main envelope itself. And then we've got the red part in the middle where that would be the wax seal. And that brings us finally to the main build for this set, which is Hedwig herself. And this one looks really good with it done up largely in the white, but instead of just making it a standard one kind of color for the figure, I love the way that they've incorporated the black into the main body, just little bits here and there for like wing tips and feather tips and things like that. And then we do got a bit of the gray kind of peeking through as well from the way that it was built and put together. So overall, it's not bad. They could have done it all up in just the white and it would have still looked really good since it is of course a snowy owl, but I love the fact that we actually have it done up with a little bit of different coloring in there. Now those gears at the back actually allow for a really fun play feature. You can actually have the Hedwig figure flap its wings and it does actually have a realistic kind of flap to it. Now the flapping action is actually achieved with the use of gears as well as some Technic pieces and pins that are holding the wings in place in certain joints to give it a bit more of like an actual proper flap and also to make the wings actually bend together as one instead of you having to pose it and constantly move it around. So that's an interesting touch that they have that. And I like the fact that we actually get an interesting play feature with this set. Now, even though the wings do have an interesting design in the way that they flap and the way that the Technic pieces and pins and all that came together, there is actually some additional posability in the figure as well, which I was a little bit surprised about. The tips on the wings on both of the sides, those are on hinges. So you can actually bend those three pieces up and down. So it does make it so you can change it up a little bit with the way that the character looks, either when you're using it as like the flapping action, or if you just want the wings in a certain position uh, when you're having it just on a shelf. Now, moving to the tail, 
The tail has a couple of hinges as well, but mainly just done up on the sides for the two pieces on each of the sides so that the side feathers can splay out a little bit. Now moving towards the front, we also do get the two feet, the claws that are on hinges. So you can actually have those move up and down, but it's mainly so that you can bend them down and have them gripping the letter for delivery. Now moving up from there, we do get to the head for Hedwig, which does have an interesting design. And I like the way that it actually came together for this one. Now, as for posability, first of all, it does have a bit of posability about maybe 10 degrees on either side. So you can kind of rock it side to side, but it does have a neck that can rotate 360 degrees. So that's an interesting touch, especially with owls known to be able to move their necks quite a bit. Now, as for the main head itself, it was actually built in kind of a bit of like a wedge shape. So we actually do get the eyes on separate parts of the head instead of it being like maybe on a flat face or on two sides, the way that it's angled, they're both on a 45 degree. But I think that adds a little bit more character to the overall figure itself. Now, the beak for Hedwig is interesting because it is actually just one piece. It's kind of like a tooth piece that you've seen on other builds, but this time done up in black. And I like the look that that gives to the character. And I love the printed eyes that we got with this figure where the eyes are largely done up with the gold around the outside and then the black in the middle. Now, the black inside there is not actually fully centered. It's slightly off center, but the way you build it, it actually makes it look really nice once the eyes are in place there because it does move the eyes a little bit forward. But I think that adds a better look to the character, especially from looking at it head on. Now, all in all, this one is a great set to add to my collection. I'm really happy to have this one. And this one actually is a uh, kind of on the beginning of my Harry Potter collection. Don't really have too many in the way of sets for that collection so far, but I'm really happy to have this one. I love the look of this one. And it's a really nice character done up in a really good style as well. Now I just got to see if I can keep my eyes out and see if we can't track down the Fox uh, build that you can get for Harry Potter. I do love Phoenixes and that one would be really good to add to my collection. But let me know your thoughts on this Hedwig in the comments below. And let me know if there's any other sets from Lego or even from the Harry Potter line that we should be on the lookout for. And make sure to like and subscribe and get that bell on to be notified about our latest video. Now, before you guys go and join the magical world of Harry Potter, just be sure to tell everyone that you just got bricked.